three and two and moreover the word of the Lord the issue came unto me saying go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem saying thus saith the issue I remember thee the kindness of thy youth the love of thine espouses when thou wentest after me in the wilderness in a land that was not sown israel was holiness unto the ishi and the first fruits of his increase that devour him shall offend all that devour him excuse me all that devour him shall offend evil shall come upon them saith the issue now this is about israel what israel used to mean to the creator israel was holiness unto the issue and the first fruits what is first fruits it's an offering again the israelites were the offering unto the world by the creator he tells us himself you are to do this then they broke away from that the first fruits of his increase the beginning of the contract right the righteous of abraham that all that devour all that harm them shall offend the evil shall come upon them saith the issue hear the word of the house of excuse me the word of the lord o house of jacob and all the families of israel now you see it is changed right he has made a statement and now this is see this right here punctuation this is what he's proclaiming thus saith the lord what iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me now we understand what the ten commandments are to say they have gone far they are part of the covenant and they have gone away from the covenant Now look, first, the first we the first fruits, the wonderful offering. Then, how have you grown to become so far from righteousness? Neither, excuse me, they've gone so far, walked after vanity, and are become vain. You understand what's going on? The Israelites understand the power that they get from the Most High. I've seen it. I called everybody over. I said, let us attempt to stop the rain. The rain stopped through prayer. I've seen it. Our hearts were in the right place to be able to use that power. When the Israelites turn wicked, they're still sacrificing. When the Israelites turn wicked, they're still going through the motions so they can tap into the power. And this is why he's sending Jeremiah to warn them, I'm about to destroy you. You've become like witches using me. And what happens under the laws of the Creator to witches on the promised land? Now, keep that in mind. Now it states, you've become vain. You walk, you chase, you run after vanity. Vanity. Remember, what is Sodom and Glamora? Right? My sweet-ass Nikes, right? Think about these things. 
I was born this way, but I wear a wig. Okay, it's 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 all over us. Walk like an Egyptian. Their crocodile shoes, their sl their smooth suits. You understand what it's about? It's about the rich black people in the South, right? Okay. Okay, so let's look at this. Uh, and sometimes I don't trust what the lyrics say because I know when I listen to it, I'm hearing something totally different. All right, say so all the old paintings on the tombs, they do the sand dance, oh, don't you know? If you, they move too quick, oh, way, oh, they're falling down like a domino. No. When you look at the line dances created by black people, if you move too quick from this dance move, you're doing another dance move. When you look at how black people say other people uh, or other cultures don't have uh, the rhythm, uh, all the bizarre men by the Nile, remember the Delta Nile, okay? This is the Mississippi Delta. This is Egypt. That's why it's called Walk Like the Egyptian, right? The the bazaar men down by the Nile, they got money on their backs, all right? Gold crocodiles, oh, hey, oh, they snapped the teeth on the cigarettes. Now, when you see these brothers in the zoot suits, I don't even know how to... Now, back in the day, they used to have the brothers in the zoot suits, all right? Now, this is just costume shit. There you go. Zoot suit, in the co see the crocodile shoes? I bet, I bet you start going through these pictures, you're going to see the brothers with the gold teeth. This is what they're singing about. This ain't written out how it's sung, right? They snap their gold teeth on a cigarette or on their cigarette. This ain't yeah. Foreign types with the hookah pipes say, Ayo, Ayo, Oe, right? This is how they sounded in the Moors. Psalms 83. All these nations, roll, 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 hey, oh. right? This is what they did to get here. They sailed and rowed, right? Right? Now, you don't don't pay no blonde waitresses take their trays. Listen, let me show you real quick. You know, why did, um, why did, why did Red Fox say, I'll shoot your pinky toe off? Because if you got shot in the toe, what happened? You got a limp. You lost your dancing moves. All right? So, take out blonde. The waitresses take their trays. They spin around across the floor. They got the moves. You drop your drink, then they give you more. All the school kids so sick of the books, they like, it don't say punk and metal, it say basketball. If I play the, they like the ball games is what it says. If I play the video, it's not going to, if I play the video, they'll reject the song. It don't say punk and metal bands, it says something about 
bat, uh, ball games or something like that. When the buzzer rings. See, punk and metal don't got nothing to do with buzzer rings. And I know it's school kids, but it's not talking about school buzzers. It's talking about the, 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 the sports games buzzers. Oh, hey, oh, they walking like the Egyptian. The kids at the marketplace. Remember the Egyptian market? Remember how black people had their markets? Oh, hey, oh, you were overtaken by these foreigners, right? They're walking like the Egyptian. Now, what is the Egyptian? It's the way the Egyptian walk is the way they put it in front of you all the time. It's the George Jefferson. Right? Now everybody's seen this. Alright? Everybody know how George Jefferson walked. Now watch this next part. Slide your feet up the street, bend your back, shift your arm, then you pull it back. Now everybody know J now let's just do that. Slide your feet, shift your arm, and then you pull it back. That's really the Egyptian walk. That's how Jefferson walked. Like one side was dead, swimming. So, and I know what they show in the video. Read it. Slide your feet, right? up the street, bend your back, shift your arm, then you pull it back. That's a swim technique, right? Whatever they doing on the screen, like all this shit, that's not even what's being said there. They don't say nothing about move your head in no certain way. It say, slide your feet, bend your back. They don't say, do no shit like this. They're just rhythmless and not doing what they're actually saying. So think about this. You know, and the rest of this stuff has to do with who's come and taken over now. The same thing when you look at Lord Royals, yeah. Now, listen to this song and think about you used to be the king and now you're overthrown. I've never seen a diamond in my damn life. I cut my teeth on wedding rings uh, only in the movies. Now, when you look at all the movies, the movies are full of white actors that are just the descendants of barbarians that have never seen diamonds in real life. Everything in the movie is fake. It's all rented. And it's, and it's cheaper to rent glass than it is diamonds. It's, it's cheaper to buy fake, fake diamonds than, than real diamonds. It's going to be on screen. No one can reach through the screen and examine it. And I'm not proud of my address in the torn up town. No postcode in me, right? Think about this. Where is their home? When the, when the Bible says, I'm going to send everybody to their, back to their father's land, these people got nowhere to go. And the prophecy already said they would, they'll be burned up by that, by that time. They don't have a home anymore. <laughs> I will force the families out of the north beyond the ice gate, and I'll close the ice gate. And I'll close the ice gate so they can't come back home. But but every song like Gold Teeth, Grey Goose, Dripping in the Bathroom, that's what all their music's been about, right? Party. It's until the end of the world, right?
think about this. We, they don't care. Now they're driving Cadillacs. What? In in the in the in the in the in the living the American dream. Right? And what does the rich one do? Buy jet planes. I got beachfront property, islands. When Mike Tyson's brainwashed by that shit, what does he do? Tigers on leashes? What happens when the, this, this tiger decides, oh, I'm just going to eat you? You think boxing is really going to matter to a tiger that's, that's got knives for 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 finger for 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 fingernails? It's all been here. They'll never be royals. It's not in their bloodline. That stuff ain't ain't for them. They have a different kind of high, different kind of buzz. And what do you do? Just like they've asked. Let me be your ruler. Let me live my fantasy. What is that to? Heaven is a place on earth. And you know it's not. And all these actions that you see is why they will be banned based on their actions. This is what the individual judgment of Judgment Day is all about. You let these things happen and you didn't say anything. Why would I want you up here? You let these things happen and you did not do anything. Why would I want you up here? I made someone chosen and you obstructed them the entire time. Why would I want you up here? I gave all the book, everyone, to choose between righteousness and wickedness. You chose wickedness. Why would I want you up here? We must truly think about these things as we go forward. And what is the difference between righteousness and wickedness when we are given the most valuable information? There is but one God. He controls all. When that's written in a book over and over and over again, and then you're presented a second book attached, talking about a different God, is that a New Testament or is it just the test? of the first book okay so here we have the creator stating making a statement stating what iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain neither said they where is the ishi that brought us up out of the land of egypt that led us through the wilderness through a land of deserts of pits through a land of drought and of the shadow of death through the land that no man passed through where no man dwelt and I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But when ye entered, ye defiled my land and made mine heritage an abomination. Now, do you understand what he just called us? Wherever you went, you defiled my name. And I do this not to you for your sake, but for my holy name's sake. Remember? Ezekiel? What, Ezekiel 23 or something like that? Yeah, something like that. 
I brought you into a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But ye entered and ye defiled my land and made mine heritage an abomination. That's us. Right? The priest said not, where is the ishi? They that handle the law knew me not. You hear that? All right there. Who read this to you? How many of you, how many of you read this yourselves? How many of you thought we came into this land and we did everything correctly? We were just overthrown. The pastors, oh, priests and pastors, those are modern terms, right? Also transgress against me and the prophets prophesied by Baal. Do you even understand what Baal is? A different set of laws. If Baal is a human lord that's killed at a specific time, then he's just got laws that are against the most high's laws. Didn't Sodom and Gomorrah have laws that were against the Most High's laws? Didn't others have laws? That, don't you get it? If they call themselves kings and lords, if they thought so, they were so powerful they called themselves gods, then they had to have laws. And if their laws went against righteous laws set forth by the one that created us, don't you see how that's mm, blasphemous and abominable? Don't you see how if we're worshiping other gods and we start having babies and teaching our babies about other gods, that the one that gave us the power to have those babies will look at our children as abominations? You were created out of wickedness. How far does the fruit stay to the tree, whether it be righteous or whether it be wicked? You walked after things that do not profit. If you're not supposed to pull out during sex, then how do you profit from condoms? If you're not supposed to pull out during sex because that's spilling seed, how do you benefit from masturbation? If you are living by the laws of Baal and they practice abortion, aren't you part of a heritage of abomination? Wherefore, I will yet plead with you, saith the Ishi, and with your children's children, I will plead. That's us. The heritage of abomination. Chicken and pork diets. Nasty meats. Turkey, a hybrid animal. Pork eats its own shit. Chicken eats its own shit. The people, people, you crack open an egg and the only thing you see is two colors. White, yellow, and an intestine. If the intestine is mixed with the white and yellow, which part of the white and yellow is supposed to be the clean part? It's not an umbilical cord. 
You're bullshitting me. Oh, it is? You want to eat the umbilical cord? Is that what you just said? Come on. We can look at this as two ways. Chicken is the slimiest, dirtiest bird there. Type it in. Do chickens eat their own poop? How do chicken coops stay clean if nobody gets inside and the chicken's the only thing there? Where's their poop? Where's their poop go? We are the heritage of an um, of abomination. Red dye is unclean insect, right? All these drinks they give you red dye. You think they're really giving you grape? You buy seeds, and they come with what? Gelatin? Why do you need gelatin on seeds? Come on, heritage of abomination. Who's in control right now? Not us. Who's teaching us? Not our parents. For pass over the Isles of Chittim. Meaning, view them, look and see, right? And send unto Kedar, and consider diligently. Think on this wisely, and see if there be such a thing. Has a nation changed their gods? Let us create them in our image. Has a nation changed their gods? No, they. if anything, they added gods. They made pantheons. But they never rejected their entitled deity. Do you understand what the Most High is saying here? I put gods over them and go and look. They haven't rejected them. Look diligently. Have a nation changed or rejected? disposed of, <coughs> removed, are yet, all right, which are yet no gods? Is there even a place with no gods? Is there any, is there even a sanctuary for such a thing? But my people have changed their glory for that which do not profit. Be astonished, O heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. And yet, what? Be very desolate, saith the Ishi. For my, my, my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me the fountain of living waters. Do you understand how the rivers clean themselves through the algae? The pressure that's underneath to keep it continually running. The fountain of living waters. And you them out cysteines, broken the cysteines that cannot hold water. You even understand that? He said... The Israelites and the Jacobites, right, they have destroyed what can hold water and gone and taken for exchange broken water holders. They've taken good water holders and broken them and taken broken water holders and called them good. You've got to understand what's being said here. The cisterns that they've chosen cannot hold water. That can hold no water. Listen so close. Please, as close as you possibly can. This is the most important thing you're going to understand. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? 
and it says, why is he spoiled? How can be how can you be a homeborn slave, African American, that's not from Africa? How can you be spoiled? Hmm? Have you thought about this? Have you thought about this at all? The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. What did the abominable nations do when they came here? Hmm? Is it not like the Lion King? Yo, daddy died and Simba took over. I mean, Scar took over. Right? And they distract you, just like they distract the children in the Lion King. With what? Sex. Why bad rulership rules, you are distracted in the kingdom of pornography. They came over as lions, facing a lion, and as they yelled and chased, they turned your land into a waste. Because we rejected the Most High and chased after other gods that brought nothing for us. So much so, they even destroyed our land that which produced all the food that we depended so much on. They turned your cities into a waste. His cities are burned. Without and have look at all these cities with Indian names. Look at all these cities with original names with very low numbers in them because there's just been no money near there to rebuild. Yet all these new cities pop up. Home of the Vikings, home of the Trojans. I thought the Trojans were destroyed. Home of the Spartans. All these different homes of came here in your home and took your place. Also, the children of Noph and the Tahathines have broken the crown of thy head. Hast thou not procured this unto thyself? Haven't you, you haven't figured this shit out? In that thou hast forsaken the Ishi, thy Elohim, when he led thee by the way. He guided us out of slavery, a captivity he placed us into, so that we wouldn't turn away from him, and we did exactly what he asked us not to do. We got rid of him for other gods that brought nothing to us. We need to see this for what he has written it for us to be. Now, so, he says, Hast thou not procured this unto thyself? Not in that thou hast forsaken the issue, thy Elohim, when he led thee by the way. We have to recall how many times this is brought up in scripture. No longer will they call me the one who has led them by the hand out of Egypt, but they will call me the Lord their God that brought us by the hand out of the land of the north. This is a very important statement that is always brought up. The reasoning behind the Passover. The reasoning behind the unleavened bread on the Sabbath. And now, what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt? To drink the waters of Sheor? Or... What hast thou to do in the way of Assyria to drink the waters of the river? Thine own wickedness, 
Now, I want you to remember, drink the waters of the rivers of Assyria. Drink the waters of the rivers of Egypt. Now, this is relative to the creation of Egypt and how a dynasty is started throughout Egypt. Thine own wickedness shall correct. And this is the key to who is the Hyksos. Right there. It's all right there. Babylon comes out of what? Christianity. Nailing barbarians to a freaking cross comes out of what? Okay. First things first, character creation. You can choose male or female. You're hanging on a cross. You've been crucified. Uh, you can choose your race from all the races. What do we have? Hyborians. Hyborians. Fomorians. The ones... What? Bloodline of the intermingled of the ice giants. Of what? Thor. And Odin. Right? Hyborians. Hyboria. Where the sun never sets. Encompass those descendants of the barbaric worshippers of Bori who swept from the north. Don't pay attention to these numbers. Jeremiah chapter 1. I see a seam pot facing the north. I bring the families of the north to set up their kingdoms and thrones, encompassing Jerusalem. Where did manifest destiny bring these people? Where did colonization bring these people? Australia couldn't have been where Jerusalem was. I'm sure you you see my point. A oh, bunch of barbaric tribes gathering together, calling themselves Europeans, claiming to find a new world that already had European structures built. That already had coliseums, that already had amphitheaters, that already had Roman names, Roman structures. The origin, original Hyperboreans were tawny haired and gray eyed. That's not human. But intermingling with human, man created humans. So who's Bury? Bory. So <laughs> that's the key to all this. The cross. Where's the cross come? Gods and demons of the Hyperborean age. Oh, I think we. If I type in Bory, they give me Bury or Bore. Remember, Edom is relative to Bor. This is huge. This is so, so huge. This has been up on screen for months since, the, or at least at least month and a half. No, two months. The name Bor can be translated as sun. Oh shit! We done found some sun god worship. Ooh, son of god worship. Ooh, ooh, the research just. Oh wow. There's not much known about this. No, we know this guy very well. Bull crap. Kid Icarus flew too close to the sun and his, his wax wings melted. This is Jesus, people. All the mythical stories about a sun. Because it's from liars. It's from thieves. It's whatever they can teach you based on a father-son relationship 
to push an adopted identity to steal from you. It's a tool, people. What a con man uses to get in your pockets. Don't believe me. I'm about to read it out of the Bible. A lot of, well, listen, not much is known about this God, and there are discussions about his looks. Hmm. Don't you, about his looks, what does the Bible say about the image? A lot of mythologists, <laughs> mythologists, I can never say these stupid ass words. Mythologists. Mm. Let's say he was a god in the shape of a human. Other depict him as a giant. Now, how many people remember when I did the video on the guy that was in the military that said they were underground working with the demons until they tried to attack the demons? And then he gave a description of the giant that they kept in the tomb kind of thing, hangar basement slash tomb, where when they were around the giant, it gave them the feeling that the giant was Jesus, described in the Bible. The one that can play on your heart. Mm. I mean, these are these people's Witness statements. I didn't stick my hand up their butt and say puppet talk and say what I want you to say. I didn't make them say things that match these words. Son. God. Shape of human. Some see him as a giant. He is also to have existed even before the creation of the world. Don't you see a fallen angel born before the creation of the world, born before the creation of men, assigned to create men, seeing he created or helped create man, seeing man be awarded with a great purpose, yet being jealous of man. Jealousy turns to envy, and envy turns to hate and bitterness. And with that somber glow, now the most beautiful angel turns into the most hated, and then he is ejected, kicked so fast out of heaven, it burns him with pride. Now we see him glowing every morning. Mm -hmm. The morning star, the beauty of sunrise, because man knows he needs this star just to survive. It's a lot of bullshit, but it's true. So, let's keep reading. He is the son of Burry, who is known as the father of all. And you do see where this is all going, right? Mm hmm. Good. What a foreshadow never hurt anybody. Ah, uh, and father of three sons, Odin, Vili, and V. Okay, so nobody's ever heard of these two fuck fucks. But anyway, and he married to a giant woman named Bestla. Okay, is not he is not mentioned in a lot of mythology texts. So there is still much of him to discover. Okay, so let's go to Wikipedia and let's see what it says about Burry. Pardon me. <coughs> now, in Norse mythology, Burry pronounced producer, father, excuse me, producer or father, is an early ancestor of Aesir, like what you breathe, or what? Ether. Burry was licked. Free from salty rim stones by the primeval, 
Primeval Cow. Ooh, whatever. This thing right here. Spurting milk everywhere and licking this bald dude. This dude free from this stuff is what they presume. Right? <clears throat> Weird. I don't care. It's not my stuff. Uh, Burry's background beyond this point is unattested, and he had a son, Boar, by the way of an unknown process. Ew. Burry is attested in the Pros Edda, composed in the 13th century by some dumbass barbarian. Snorri Sturluson. Snorri, every time we see you sleeping, wake up, you dumbass. All right, so the prose era includes a chord from his 12th century poem by Skald. Bravador, blood is stuck. Blood, you scald. Bloody skull. Scald, provader, like Darth Vader, but pro, like provider, provader, blood skull. That mentions a figure. Burry's mysterious origins are subject of scholarly commentary and interpretation. She licked the ice blocks. Now it's she. Now it's not a he. Right? Which were salty. Now it's salty ice blocks. We all know salt melts ice. So this is dumb as shit, right? And the first day she licked the blocks, there came forth from the blocks in the evening a man's hand hair the second day the head the third day the whole man was there he is named burry he he was a fair of feature great and mighty he begot his son called boar okay burry is mentioned nowhere okay in the poetic Edda, and only once in Scaladic Corpus. In Scalad Scaparm Scaparmal, Snorri quotes the following verse by the 12th century Scalad provider Blood Skull. Now I have snatched much of the mead made. A lot of poetry of Burry's heir, Boar's son, Odin. So, look at that. <laughs> now we know who Boar is. Now we know who Bori is. So, clearly, from this man's thieving quotes, he snatched dishware. Mead, liquor, put in pottery. Everybody knows what fucking mead is. It's liquor. So he stole alcoholic drink that was bottled from Burry's heir. So Burry's heir is Odin. Oh, another name for Odin. We can clearly see the barbaric Odin is Boar's son. So, whoever Odin's father is, is Boar, or Burry. Up here, we see when this one is licked free, it is Burry. His son is Odin, or Boar. His grandson would be Thor, and Loki, making deals with the Hyperborean the ice giants in what taking on one of their children as his heir why is he famous to these people it's right here 
He made liquor. He understood or he began, one or the other, fermentation. It's very clear from this. I don't give a shit what their scholars say. <laughs> Here's one. Although the text does not make an explicit, we may think I we we may, I think, assume that he did so through an ordinary human sexual act. Not, nothing said anything about sex. Snatched. I mean stole. Come on. What is it? Burry's ancestral remains entirely unclear. Questioning whether he is con was considered born of a Jotor, right? You know what a Jotor is, an ice giant. Or by way of auto gentry. Uh, and auto gentry is reproductive strategy in which the female insect must eat a particular sort of meal before laying eggs in order. Oh, look at that. In the case of Ymir's children, Ymir's the ice giant. See, okay, see, this is all Thor stuff. Ymir is the king of the ice giants. When you get to Hyperborea, this is all from Thor mythology. Okay, you see right there? King of the ice giants. Lord of the storms of war, chief of all gods of Hyperborea. Right. Loki's biological father. Odin is his adopted father. So, you see how all this shit just led right back to all this shit, other stuff? It is the god the barbarians brought with them. So, let's go back over here. And remember, it said, you drank the waters. When he's talking about the waters, he's talking about what these people classify as religion. So, thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backslidings shall reprove thee. Now, how can that be so? If they're going to be destroyed, how can they learn from their own destruction? It's not about them. Again, it's about the abominable nation that has been brought forth learning about the destruction of the Judeans when they didn't know about the destruction of them before. And that is where we're at today. Right now, at this moment. We are right here at the scripture. Thine own wickedness, Israelites, Judeans, shall correct thee. And thy backslidings, you falling away from the Most High, shall reprove thee to the Most High. Know, therefore, and see that it is an evil thing and bitter, that thou hast forsaken the Ishi, your Elohim, and that my fear is not in thee. What would make you turn away and not be afraid of who is the Creator? Say if the Ishi, Elohim, of all of hosts, the host of hosts you must truly think about this. What happened to Judah? All these scriptures people read, why have they not read these to you? It is critical. Now it goes on further, state. 
for of old time, in the past, I have broken thy yoke, burst thy bands, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. We said to him, we won't leave you again. Over and over in the book of Judges, read it for yourself. Over and over, you're enslaved to a different race. Back to the Most High. Enslaved to a different race. Back to the Most High. Something is happening between us and the teaching of our children. All these other races can carry the torch to keep you enslaved, but we can't carry the torch to stay with our Creator. I broke the bands, I broke your yoke, she said, I would not transgress when upon every hot hill, high hill, and under every green tree thou wanderest playing a harlot, worshiping other gods. That brought you nothing. Yet, I had planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Now listen to this. Do you understand what he just said? I made you perfect and you went and fucked up your DNA. And you're not going to believe me. It says it right there. You used to be gold like the wheat, ruddy like the reddish cow. Now your skin is blackened, which I don't have a problem with. For I am like you. But we had a different image. told us to stay away from the Moabites, stay away from the Ammonites, stay away from the Edomites. That is how black power was created. We are the result of it, the abominable nation. I'm not saying this, it's right there. How does he call us degenerate stock if black is the image of beauty? I'm not saying white is the image of beauty. I'm saying we had the image of beauty. We changed it. Read it with me. Of old I broke thy yoke, burst thy bands, I said I wouldn't transgress. Then you went to every high hill, every green tree thou went under, you started worshipping other gods. What does it mean to worship other gods? It means to take the face of another nation, the confusion of faces. Now everyone's nigger instead of Israelite or Jacobite. Yet I planted, you are people made of fucking tree material. I planted a noble vine, holy and right. How in the hell have you turned into this degenerate fucking strange plant? This is about our goddamn looks. Our penises are seed planters. <clears throat> 
for thou though wash thee with nit nitri hmm? material potash eviscerating with acid nitrate what do you put in the ground to make seed grow for thou though wash thee with nitrate and take thee much soap yet thine iniquity is marked before me saith the ishi Eloah. How canest thou say, I am not polluted? I have not gone after Balim. See thy way in the valley. Know what thou hast done. Do you understand what that means? You should know what your fathers did. We are one, the ones that are dead, the ones that are alive. If a little bit of us have a chance, we all still have a chance. Know what thou hast done. Thou art a swift domedary, transversing her way, your fucking hooker. A wild ass whore used to the wilderness that means you're banged outdoors i'm sorry that's that's what it means there is no easy way to say slut and the way it's written you can't understand it domedry transversing her ways what could that possibly mean hmm? feminine camel transversing right interlacing what does it mean for a female camel to interlace her ways hmm? her mode of action her custom hmm? think about that it's calling you a whore it's calling me a whore a wild ass uncontrollable used to the wilderness hmm? what could that possibly mean after he said, after he said, a female camel. Hmm? That snuffed up the wind. What could that possibly mean? Hmm? At her pleasure, in her occasion, who can turn her away? When that bitch is in heat, who, right? Come on. He's just saying it nice. All they that seek her will not weary themselves. They're not going to get tired. They'll get, all that are interested in her will not waste their time because she will put out. Think about what he's saying about us. Look at this. In her mouth they shall find her. You already know what that means if masturbation spills seed if condoms spill seed then what does in her mouth in a series of phrases that does deals with whoredom mean hmm i don't have to say this without loud right you don't have to sit there and call me a pervert because it's written just written in such a clean way nobody wants to understand it today because it's just not modern enough to understand the perversion that's being said about you to insult you to make those that think they're uppity realize that they shouldn't even be thinking anywhere near that withhold thy foot from being unsodden, hmm? Unshod, excuse me. 
and thy throat from thirst. But thou hast said, There is no hope, no, for I have loved strangers, and after them I will go. Now think about that. You will chase after strangers, after other nations during the time of Jeremiah. But he only warns you, don't go into the Canaanites, don't go into Moabite, and don't go into the Ammonites. He told you through your forefather everything else was okay. Why would he be saying not okay today unless you went and made children in nations he called abominable? Don't go into the Moabites. You, we can find in the Bible where you intermix with the Moabites. Don't go into the Canaanites. We can find in the Bible where we intermix with the Canaanites. Now all black people look the same. You don't get why God's mad? As the thief is ashamed when he is found. Who is, who is, who is Jesus hanging next to? So is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, saying to a stock, Thou art my daddy, and to a freaking stone, Thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in time, in the time of their trouble, they will say, Oh, rise, Most High, save us. Who is the thief? Who is the rock? Who is the stock? Isn't the stock the, scare, the scarecrow? Who is the guy hanging on the fucking scarecrow? Huh? How many times do I have to tell you this? The Judeans were destroyed for the worship of Bury. Jesus. Thor. The guy trapped in the sun riding goats. How many times? How many different ways? Why are you so hard-headed? That's why it's only going to be a remnant. The gathering of Jesus Christ Church, but they worship God. God says he hates Jesus. God destroyed the Judeans for worshiping a rock and calling a rock their father. Who in the fuck in history is what? Called a rock. Huh? Yeah, the stone that the builder rejected. How many dumbasses sat there and said, Jesus is God the Father? Don't you hear what I'm saying? The Judeans were turned to fucking cremation dust. I saw it. For myself. When you pick the dust up, it's a disgusting powder. It's cremation ash. It's the people that didn't survive from these books. There's no other way to tell you. The Judeans worshipped Jesus because they were taught this from other nations that they chased after. It's all right here in the book of Jeremiah. It is not my fault you've never seen this, and it's not my fault if you have a problem with it now. Your problem is what you, you were taught before, brainwashed with. Yet, out of the exact same book that you were brainwashed, the truth just sits there, collecting dust in parts that you don't want to read because they're too long and there's no red letters. Now, how do you read from a book when the almighty creator talks? There's nothing different than anyone else talking. But when a lowly Jesus talks, everything's highlighted.
Hmm. That's called a test. How is something that came from a vagina more important than something that created all, including the vagina and the one that came from it? Hmm. To some people, that's a conundrum. Not to me. It's just a fool's test. Can you think for yourself? Or must you be taught how to eat? If I type in a scarecrow, you'll understand what a stock is. Pine, plank, staff, saying to the pine, the plank, the staff, thou art my father. There's only one image on the face of this earth that even relates to a statement like that. Saying to a fucking stone, thou hast brought me forth, thou hast begotten me. There's only one idiot on the face of the fucking earth that anybody even tries to consider that with. Heathen. They have turned their backs unto me and not their face. Do you see what happens there? Now, if you turn your back to something, but not your face, do you see what happened there? What has the ability to have its body facing one way and turned its head the other way? Only one thing, an owl. Hmm, more riddles, more codes, right there for us. Which bitch that calls itself a god has an owl as a little partner? Hmm, as it's familiar. Hmm, is that Isis, the queen of heaven? The one that God rejects? Ah. <sighs> They have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. But where are their gods that thou hast made unto thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in, they in thy time of trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. Mm. No pantheon for Judah. We'll just keep building cities per God. Wherefore I will plead. Ye, excuse me. Wherefore ye, will ye plead with me? Yea, all have transgressed against me, saith the Ishi. In vain I, what, have I smitten your children. They received no correction. Mm. Reminds you of today, right? How you have these single mothers raising all these children that don't have time to correct their children and their children go astray and the next generation and the next generation becomes dumber and dumber and dumber until they can't tie their fucking shoes without assistance. Hmm. We can see it happening right now. History repeating itself because there is absolutely nothing new under the sun. Wow. Wouldn't it be very powerful, you know, to sit there and have all these quotes and they all constantly come true over and over and over again. Wow. How it is to always be right. Hmm. So we'll go further. So it says... In vain I smite your children, and they receive no correction. Your own sword hath devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. Think about that. What is black on black crime? Hey, you shouldn't do that. Niggas, stay out of my mouth. 
right? Don't interfere with me feeding myself or my family. Hmm? O generation, see ye the word of the issue. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore, say my people, we are lords. Nigga, we was kings. We are lords. We will come no more unto thee. There you have it. Nigga, we was kings is the perfect example of this scripture, and we didn't even use it for this. Each of those black kingdoms, you had a portrait, almost as a photographic image, of them holding the ball globe with a cross stapled in it, handing their kingdom over to Christianity. All the wickedness that those people were doing, once they solidified those images, just like the statements I made in the video, nigga, we was kings. It was the captured image of them worshiping Christ that turned their kingdoms into dust and over to the hands of barbarians. That solidified it for the Most High. The image. See? The image doesn't have to be Jesus on your fucking wall. The image has to be you revering Jesus as God Almighty. Jesus is fucking evil. It has always been evil. Jesus is Lucifer. It has always been Lucifer. Lucifer is the sun. Jesus is the sun. The morning star. Isaiah didn't lie. Jesus lied. Paul didn't lie. He's the writer of all the New Testament. Jesus didn't live, die, and write the New Testament. Paul lived and wrote the New Testament and died and his family finished it. Understand the history. What's wrong with you people? Fucking if they changed his name to Peter Pan, you'd all be fucking bowing down to Peter Pan. Worshiping Peter. What is Peter another name for? Penis. You're all dickheads. Not the people that understand what's, been go what's going on in these scriptures. The ones that have been worshiping a man. Man worship. New gods that your fathers knew not of. So there was no previous arguments against this from your fathers about somebody hung on a stick, on a stalk, on a cross, on a plank of wood, on a on a Greek towel marker. The Egyptian god, the Assyrian god, Assyrians went down and started Egypt at the at the what the uh, Buto. Hmm? And what were they called when they brought Hyksos? You don't belong here, but look at what you brought. You brought a pictorial language. And you brought royalty. Now we know how to dress. And if anything, they bought booze. They bought fermentation and pictology. Pictographs to Egypt. Yeah, everybody's going to worship you. You just brought new shit. Now everybody's going to sit around and study that shit. Now to teach them, you're going to charge them. You're going to make money for everybody learning what you want them to fucking say. That's called a law. O generation, see ye the word of the issue. Have ye been a, in the will? Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore the people say, We are lords, we are kings. We will come no more unto the Creator. We don't need Him. They've turned to Jesus. They worship the stones. The stone begot me. The stalk is my daddy. 
You cannot put any other God in there. Your own mind knows the damn scarecrow is fucking Jesus. The dumbass rock that the builder refused is Freemason talk for Jesus. The Most High said none of that shit. Can a maid forget her ornaments? What? Her, her what? Her outfit. Or a bride, her attire. Yet my people have forgot me days without number. This one, this this punk little homo gonna get on here and say, don't you dare kill an animal to the most high. Why not, faggot? Because you'll release the curses upon our wicked asses. Get ready. You're about to get filled up, pervert. Your third wave is going to be cut down. Remember, you got that mark just like Lionel Richie. Every time I smack the shit out of Lionel Richie, his lava whip is going to burn your fucking ribs too, you little fruit cup. Also, in thy skirts is found the blood of the souls of the poor and the innocent. Harmonize. How many times have I told you we treated the poor worse than Sodom and Gomorrah? You took their drawers, their fucking pants, and made them wear them on their head. You sold men for a whole shekel. If half a shekel is five fifty today to six twenty, you sold men for eleven fucking dollars to thirteen dollars. Saying that piece of shit. Is barely worth what I'm charging you. Who is the greatest shit talkers in the world? When they're supposed to be learning things instead, who sits in class is mocking each other, becoming distractions, getting kicked out of school, getting suspended because of what? How they mock people. The black kid, right? Walk like the Egyptian. Gold teeth. Snap down an old cigarette. Right? We'll never be royal. We'll never be like your black hair. But let me pretend for a little while. Let me burn up the resources for a little while. All this based on colonization with the Inquisition, accept Jesus or die. You can't see the complete circle. You can't see the power running through the circuit. They do call it circuit courts, right? On the skirts, I've found the blood and the souls of the poor innocents. I have not found it by secret search, but upon all these. You understand that? That's pride. We killed that fucking poor bastard. That's pride. I didn't find the blood on your skirts because it was hidden. I found it because you stepped, you kept marking yourself with different DNA that you killed and you were proud of murder. Yet, thou sayest, because I am Israelite, because I am innocent. How can you be innocent unless you were preaching you were Israel? Surely his anger shall turn from me because I am chosen from Abraham's seed. Behold, I will plead with thee because thou sayest, I have not sinned. Because you make an accusation, I ain't did shit wrong. I will give my ear unto your, your pleas. Because this is about court, about law, and about judgment. 
think about how long you have gone without trying to seek forgiveness. Think of how long you've said, I'm a good person. I'm this or I'm that. And you had no clue you're an Israelite that is suffering because you are in the abominable age and we have been placed in abominable customs because we were mingling with abominable races before this age. I didn't know until the other day. Mm, I don't care how this looks to anybody. I reject all this shit. Black power, white supremacy. Fuck both sides. I need clean, honest, innocent people that don't want to play this shit no more. They want to worship the creator because they see that is the key to survival of the fittest. Period. The only difference is you can't fake it. It's impossible to fake. One slip up and everybody knows what's wrong with you. It's not in you. And nobody wants someone around if it's not in them. Because then you're dead weight. That's what makes this easier by the day. Every day somebody gets sifted out. Because it's just not in them and it never was. It's not about blood. It's not about skin. It's not about phenotypes. Once we get to this point, it's about one thing. L A W Law. We have a description of the Most High. Nobody has seen him in a long time. The only way you can make the Most High understand that you care and love her is by knowing law. Showing with all the pornography, the video games, all the movies. Anything you can do to waste your fucking time and your mind, you took the time to study him. Now you have his attention. Now he's willing to bend things for you. Place things in front of you. But if it's not in you, you just can't fake it. So... Let's finish up. I will plead with you because you make the claim that you have not sinned. Why gaddest? Why go away? Why disappear, fail? Why gaddest thou so much? To change. Why do you fail so much to change your ways? Oh, wow. Look at how they wrote that to hide what it says. Why do you hide? Right? Go through to hide. Why do you go through much trouble to hide? Thou about so much to change thy way. <laughs> that is very interesting. Very interesting there. Why do you hidest your failures? Why do you go through so much trouble to hide your failures about changing your ways? Thou also shall be ashamed of Egypt when you were a slave, as thou wast ashamed of Assyria. Babylon when you were a slave. These are 400 year periods, people. 400 year periods. Yea, thou shalt go forth from him and thine hands upon thine head. Isn't that the arrest pose? For the Lord, for the Ishi hath rejected thy confidences 
and shall not what and shall not prosper in them now look at that you will be sent away like prisoners from before me and those things that you confided in prior they shall not prosper the goals that you had prior are now about to all fail and you shall walk from before me captive as other men's bitches <laughs>